where to eat in Fort Myers, Florida. There are a lot of restaurants in Fort Myers, Florida, so you might be wondering where should you go to eat. In this video, I am going to show you three top rated restaurants you need to try. And I also have a spot for breakfast, one for brunch, one for dinner. There is a lunch spot that is also a top rated restaurant, but I have it on its own video, so you can check it out in the link below. Let's start with breakfast. So at Sunflower Diner, it's a local well-established spot they have all day breakfast it has good value good portions and it was really convenient and close to the highway and our server was really friendly and helpful so we were pretty happy with our food and portions here uh, we got the french toast it was just a normal thinly sliced bread but it was really good and i really liked this skillet it was the meat lover skillet it was really delicious i loved that it came with two eggs we also got the biscuits and gravy and it had a nice peppery kick to it it was really good so overall this was a well-established local spot and I would definitely recommend this for breakfast. All right, next up we have brunch. So this is at McGregor Cafe. I would recommend this for brunch and this is a really busy restaurant even during a weekday. You can see that the vibe here is really inviting. It was more of a cozy little brunch spot. They had a nice breakfast menu. We were pretty happy with everything we ordered. I got a mango mimosa. I couldn't really taste the mango, so you can skip that, but they do have other things here. The breakfast potatoes was really well seasoned and it was probably my favorite. Their pancakes had a more cake-like consistency to it, but it was really good and you can see it's a pretty good portion. The biscuits and gravy was really good. I think the gravy could have used a little more seasoning to it, but it was really good. And the French toast was a hit. The French toast was a cinnamon raisin bread, so it was really good. You can see the outside seating area had lovely shade. They had large elkhorn plants and they do allow dogs at this restaurant, so you can bring your dog here. So overall, this is a local breakfast spot that's really popular and I would recommend coming here for brunch. So now for dinner, we went to Kristoff's on McGregor. This was a cozy down-to-earth spot for more refined palates. The staff was really friendly, efficient, and helpful. We got the fish and chips. It was really good and crunchy, very large portion, a lot of meat in here. You can see that. The steak was grilled to perfection. It was really tasty. It had a little bit of the crispy edge to it. It was really good. We also got the shrimp and grits. It was huge, <laughs> as you can see here. I would definitely recommend sharing this with somebody if you can. So this is jumbo shrimp, really good size. It was on top of these cheese grits, which had a really nice fine texture. So overall, this was a great spot, great service, inviting ambiance, good food. So this is a solid spot for dinner. So there you have it. You have something for breakfast brunch, dinner. I do have a lunch spot in Fort Myers that I really liked. It is a top rated restaurant as well, but it's on its own video, so you can check it out here. So I hope this was helpful for you guys on trying to decide where to eat in Fort Myers. And if you want more information about Fort Myers or Sanibel Islands, please click on this playlist and you can find out my tips and tricks from my visit there. All right, have a great one. Take care.